wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hello everybody, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I am currently backpacking Thailand with my boyfriend Jeremy. Right now, right this second, we are in Koh Phangan at the ferry terminal. We have just bought our tickets because this afternoon we are heading to Koh Tao. Koh Tao is an island that I've been to before and it is famous for diving but the last time I was in Koh Tao I did not have my scuba diving license. I'm now a rescue diver and so it's going to be super nice to head back there do some diving and snorkeling and just explore more of what the island has to offer. Our tickets which we just bought from Koh Phangan were 350 baht. That is for the slower ferry. They had two ferries. One was like the more high speed option. That was 450 baht, which we opted not to do just because we're not in a hurry. So we got the apparently high speed catamaran. The company is Lomprya. And we just bought the tickets in the main ferry terminal here. And yeah, 350 baht each. We're just waiting 10 minutes or so before we get on the ferry and then we will be on our way to Koh Tao. Quite a calm carnage getting off the boat because they've separated us from all of our luggage and then they've put all of our luggage on the pier so everyone's just filtering out very slowly trying to find their luggage and it's a bit stressful when you do that because what happens if your luggage isn't there what happens if they've lost your luggage like when i haven't been reunited with it yet i do get a little bit stressed but hopefully we'll walk along the pier and see our bags but there's a lot of people that was very very busy boat is that yours have you got it? Oh, fantastic. Well done. It's Jeremy's bag. Oh, I see mine. Oh my God, what a relief. I was panicking for a second there because we were getting to the end. Here it is. Hello, my lovely. Welcome to Kotao, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing that we are doing is walking to a bike rental place. I did a little bit of research on Google Maps if there were any uh, good recommended ones close by to the ferry port because then we don't have to get a taxi to our accommodation or anything, we can just head straight there. And um, there is. It's only about a two minute walk from the pier, so we're just going there now. This is the one. It's called RPM Red Power Motor, motorbike for rent. The base rate here is 200 baht per day, um, but because we're going to rent it for three days, he's given us a discount where it's going to be 800, sorry, 180 baht per day. So total price 540 baht for three days. We've just parked outside Blue Water because we saw that this was a good access to taxi boat. We're hoping we can get one from here. Going to Nang Yuan? 600, okay, yeah. The water is amazing here. This is the first time we've really actually seen the beach in the sunlight and it's absolutely stunning. Good morning, everybody. We actually extended our visas again this morning. So we can now stay four months in the island. It's called a COVID extension. So I think that's just applicable for what you can do at the moment. It was a very simple process. You just fill out a bunch of forms. It costs 2000 baht. We, we've already done this process when we extended the first time round, and I will link that vlog up here. But we are now on the boat. We are going to Ko Nang Yuan Island, which is where there is the iconic view that you get in Koh Tao. I mean, it's actually a couple of islands which are just off the coast of Koh Tao. You get a long tailboat there. It costs 300 baht per person for a return and you just tell them when you want them to pick you up. I believe this boat ride is gonna take about 15 minutes and then we will be free to roam around Koh Nang Yuan. Okay, so we just paid half now, 150 each. I think that's just to cover our own backs in case we pay the full amount now for the return and then we can't find our guy on the return and then you might risk being screwed over having to pay twice. So uh, yeah, we just paid half 
now we'll pay another 150 to go back this is beautiful and just look at the clarity of this water oh my goodness i think this is the clearest water we've seen so far in thailand there is an admission fee to get on the island from what i read this used to be 100 baht but it looks like they have raised it to 200 baht for one person okay they have a restaurant here which looks like it hasn't opened just yet but we will be coming to grab food a bit later we didn't really have a plan for the island so we've kind of just been like okay now we're here what do we do first we've decided that we're going to do the hike first the hike to the viewpoint i think it's only a 10 minute hike i don't have any kind of special shoes i literally just have my Birkenstocks. Yeah, so of the two little mountains, let's say, it's the smaller one that you hike up for the viewpoint. Uh, my special hiking shoes. Special hiking <laughs> shoes for you. I reckon in non-COVID times, this is probably mega busy. We made it, no one else is here. Ta-da! So just been reviewing the pics and they look super, super beautiful. But I feel like they don't look like the ones you see on Instagram. Are we at the wrong point? Are we at the wrong viewpoint? We can't quite work it out if this is the correct one. Nonetheless, it still is very beautiful and we feel still very satisfied with our pics and with our, with our little hike to this viewpoint. There's a shack here near the top which looks like it would be open in non-COVID times and there's a nice lookout point here maybe this is the one a bit lower down heading back down now we really can't believe that no one else is here we're wondering if because there is like uh, quite a few snorkel tours which pass through the nang yuan island maybe that's what most people do when they're visiting here and so they come at certain times of the day maybe that's why there's no one here right now yeah we did have a little look at those last night it looked like the going rate was like 850 baht for a full day snorkeling tour passing in Nang Yuan Island uh, for the full day snorkeling tour yes. 850 is what I saw on a lot of the signs so yeah, this is more expensive than yeah yeah because we paid 500 to obviously get here and then be on the island it does seem like it would be worth it to do the full day snorkeling tour for just another 350 baht we were we, we were busy this morning this may be the most expensive chicken fried rice i've had in thailand but i'm kind of not surprised with the fact that we're somewhere very very secluded let's hope that it's tasty mm, it's pretty good i'd say it's average just was 160 baht and it was the cheapest thing that they had on the menu but the view is lovely the view is absolutely unbeatable we are now on these lovely sunbeds we are not sure if they are like included in the entrance fee of the island or if you have to pay extra but we've just come and sat down in them and we will stay here until someone chucks us out because that's how we like to do things <laughs> there's no sign there's no star so yeah we'll just stay here until we're told not to but maybe it is okay maybe it is just completely okay oh people snorkeling over there it looks like they're doing their um training their scuba training actually these girls are having a lovely little dip in the water here there's some of the tour boats you can see them around the outside and people jumping off and snorkeling we did bring our snorkel gear with us i'm not sure if my gopro is broken i brought it with me so i'll, I'll try using it and getting some footage of the snorkel if it has broken i will be deeply disappointed because I'll have to buy a new one. I'm gonna head out for a snorkel.
was going to include the diving footage in this vlog and just make like one big hotel vlog, but I've realized that we've already done quite a lot. So I'm gonna make a whole nother vlog of the entire diving experience in Kotal. So I'll leave this vlog here. But before I go, I want to show you where we are staying because it's a really, really lovely place. They had no double rooms available, so we just got a twin room, but you know, that's still nice. The bedding has actually been super, super nice. This is the private room with coffee and tea, a nice little dressing table where I've been working, a wardrobe, and then it has a bathroom as well. And this place is 600 baht per night. So 300 baht per person, which is actually very good. I haven't even told you where we're staying. This is Summer Hostel. And it's kind of close to Sairi Beach, uh, but it's a little bit up the road. It still feels like it's very much in the middle of things, but I feel definitely necessary to have a scooter just so you can nip around really, really fast. There are some guests here who I've noticed who don't have a scooter, um, but if you can walk to a bunch of places, it's obviously just gonna take you a little bit longer. This place was recommended to us and the staff are so so friendly i'll just show you downstairs so this is the reception area where you check in and do your paperwork and things there's some bean bags chilling out here with the dog a social area over there there's actually a supermarket directly across so very very convenient it's open from like 4 a.m in the morning to 11 o'clock at night very very nice and they have a kitchen as well free drinking water I'm gonna end the video here because tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I am getting diving and like I said, I'm gonna make a whole video on that. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing Koh Nang Yuan Island. It was very, very beautiful until the heavens opened. <laughs> Even then it was still very, very beautiful. We had a good time um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future